Hello all, welcome to Artist Live. I'm Ter Terhi Koskinen and I can't say my name right, uh, but welcome to the show. I'm doing some APC cards today and well, let's get started. I'm turning the camera so don't mind at all. Oh, here's my messy work table. Okay, I have to go around here. Sorry about that. It's late August and we are having just about this much light here, which is not a good thing. It's going to be so dark and long fall and winter, but let's not think about that now. So I did my first ATC cards, which are these three. Uh, I was a bit scared about ATC cards, as I thought they had to be some kind of uh, standard cards. Um, of course, the size can be standard uh, two and a half uh, and three and a half long, but I made a little larger these. And uh, well, Karen said that these are uh, that these had to be made like. Uh, bringing your soul into them. So I thought, well, okay, I will do that. I can make layers, I can do my some mixed media and that's it. That's my soul, <laughs> my green and turquoise soul. So let's get started. Oh, I see Evelyn, Evelina, how do you say that in England? Hello, Eve. Nice to see you here. I'm so happy you came. We talked on Instagram today that um, she put her husband to get her <laughs> two children to bed and get her crafty time with me. I'm so happy you did that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't look that chat again. Not at all. So here are the cards and we are starting with uh, white cardstock which is from Scrapperies this time. Uh, this is um, not totally white, this is natural white, but I don't mind as I'm going to use some white gesso on it. But, but, but. It might be dark for you, there. <laughs> yes, I know. That's why I'm always doing some uh, bright and shiny stuff as <laughs> it's uh, like eight months or a year or so dark in here. So it's better to do some, 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 some uh, bright stuff. So this is Cheso. This is Turtle Nuts Cheso, which is smooth and nice to use. This is white, actually much whiter than this uh, cardstock is. I'm spreading it with credit card as I think it's um, the texture is much, much, much smoother with credit card than palette knife, but maybe that's because I haven't used palette knife for like two months now. So <laughs> I'm not good enough with it. Just spreading it, and I'm not minding if there's some some clamps or anything. Just spreading it, and then I'm going to let it dry. But as I said before, I started recording. My heat gun is now passed away for a while, so I'm not using heat gun today, which is nice for you, as I hate to. Uh, not hate. I don't like to watch uh, live shows with heat guns because <laughs> it's so noisy and it's, it takes time. So we are doing this without heat guns, which means that da -da 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 -da, this is my white uh, cardstock. And here we go. Yay, it's dry. So let me see if there is any questions. No. Great. Hello, Supana. 
which what is your real name I'm always wondering that it, because uh, Nobori's great example her name is uh, spelled correctly there but then there's some some um, names I don't get but well I'm blonde okay back to the business uh, I'm using again 30 knots paints and uh, these are nice paints these are uh, what the word is you can mix them with water which is nice you can get um, more liquid or more thick if you use magic power with these um, I ah Suvi Bertio hello Suvi great to meet you here uh, I was talking about paints, yes, so I'm using mud paints uh, and then these, these uh, metallic paints which has this uh, sheen in Mika something and just making it more liquid with taking some, not much, just some there and yellow someone asked me as these uh, jars are so small there are actually 22 milliliters in one paint jar which is quite less or little amount however you say that but this actual jar has been um, in my use for two and a half years and I use bright colors so you can count with that how much <laughs> you need to use these so I took some water and mixing it I'm sorry about this light it's quite dark but let's get um, deal with it doing the same with thing with another uh, brush same water but different brush to make it more liquid I don't mix them uh, the brush colors because I'm starting with the lighter one just oh this is not too, some more water hmm. saving my ready cards there and then I'm not an artist, just making some circles with the paint, smaller and bigger. I'm making a background, which I'm going to cut, and that's why this is looking like my dear daughter would be here to paint, which wouldn't be a bad idea, she is so creative, much more creative than I am, but we are doing some show here, so I better be artistic. Okay, so now I don't mind if these colors mix up. I'm taking some water and making more and more uh, circles. Just a minute, please. Okay. Yeah. I hate when my Facebook blinks when <laughs> I'm doing something. Okay. So you get the point. Just doing round and round and round. And uh, once I'm, um, I'm not wanting to. Uh, put more color I just want to blend them blend what's the word so I add more water and make it smooth yeah so uh, now I should use the heat gun but I don't have a heat gun right now so um, what I'm trying to do uh, what I should do next is uh, let it dry and then use some mists 
but as I don't have the heat gun, I'm using Mist directly right now. And sorry, Ada, if you are watching, I'm doing some serious bad things for your mist. This might might be go might be going so bad, but I don't believe so. So I'm taking mists. These are again 13 ounce mists, and just opening it and then drawing with the thing. This won't uh, stuck to the paint um, because it's completely wet, but I just want to show you how I did it. Uh, this creates much details to background. Uh, if I show you the ready one now, you can see here's a lot, a lot of uh, brush marks <laughs> on the background. So I'm creating these right now. And it doesn't matter if you're a Kunst painter, painter or not, you are putting your soul to this one. My soul looks quite messy and, mm, well, childish, I'd say. Anyway, back to work. I'm taking my baby wipe to get this paints off right now because otherwise it would stop there. So here is my background. Let me just say, oh thank you Nupor, you let uh, put the uh, links. Let me see if I can make, make you uh, Make moderator. Okay, Nobur, you can put some links now. I think. Yes. Okay. Just a minute, please. Okay. Now it should be working. What's my secret? Ah, no. Did you mean that time? Okay, anyway, so <clears throat> here it is. Not so pretty right now, but uh, as I should have used the heat gun, it would be look much, much better. Let me put this away. So, as you see, uh, these are quite the same background, and as I said before, I did have to do some preparations, and this is how it looks when it's dry. So I got those um, this paper the sizes I wanted, and let's continue with this. I have these three, as you see, all are different, way different. You can see some uh, brush things over there and, well, there's a tiny little circle, with, which is nice. Okay, Nubur, you got the links. And we're going to continue. Uh, the next phase is uh, to do some stamping. I'm using Create a Smile uh, little arrow stamp and Pranger ink. And, and I don't own uh, these acrylic blocks large enough to um, use with these background stamps, but I can do it free. And um, as you see here, these arrows make um, points to this one point. So I want to uh, kind of, oh my, I'm so lost with words. But <laughs> what I mean is I want to use that point to my layers, so I'm not uh, inking this completely, I'm just adding ink to here and there, like this. 
this and then going to stand it. I'm not pressing it all, just some parts. Yay, it's there. More ink, please. This ink is nice as this is um, waterproof. Is that the right word? So you can use uh, wet medias on top of it, which is nice because I almost always use wet medias. Okay, these were much better, so I'm making this fourth one. Uh, we are having um, ATC exchange group on Facebook, if you didn't know. I'm giving these ATC cards away. I'm sending these to to the ones I have received some because I'm so kind of late with that thing. So I'm not doing any uh, special giveaway of, of these. I'm just sending these through the ATC exchange group. So here we have these. And then we are going to back to paints. This time I'm choosing the metallic paint, as I said before. Uh, this got this lovely uh, sheen, and it's a little transparent. You can see through it if you don't put it too much. So that's why I first did some stamping and then I'm doing the, the another layer of paint. So I'm taking this might go together right here and then again my tiny little palette and adding some some blue paint. Right now you can mix it well as the mass might be on the bottom, but this time I have been shaking this quite well. This is so blue. Oh, I would love to get you see it so much better, but the light is suck. Okay, no bad words. So I'm using a makeup sponge to add this uh, paint. Uh, less is more here. That's why I'm doing this all the time because um, this sponge will spread the color if I don't um, use very small amount of paint. And just adding some here and there. Now I really don't see where my cards are, but I don't mind if my table gets blue, because this is so pretty blue. Also my fingers are going to be blue. Okay, there are some paint there. I'm adding more here. Again, less is more. Great. Okay. And then the last one. This is so thin, this um, paint layer, that I don't need to um, use any heat tool or anything. If I had one, um, because it's drying so quickly which is nice. I, I really appreciate that. I'm using the same paint to the edges to make it more special. Just some paint here and there. No need to be too exact. Let me see the chat. Okay, everything is good there. 
next week we are going to continue with APC cards but with way different techniques because we are having having Rika with us and she's doing some well I did see those and there was a lot of colors and Rika's own personal style so don't forget to tune in some paint off before I'm adding my paper trimmer here so these are going to get a little moment alone putting my stencil away and taking my paper trimmer as you see there are several several layers of paper and embellishments and I'm starting to cut my uh, titles uh, I don't like to do any fussy cutting at all but I'm using these quite old stickers from 13 Arts uh, I'm not sure if they have any left but um, you can use any stickers you wish so I'm doing this cutting as easy as possible and as much with this trimmer as possible as I don't really really like to use scissor. scissors to anything. I choose this uh, feel free thing for one card and then I have this create the world around you. That sounds so glorious. I'm going to take this. Uh, some people don't mind if the edges of uh, aren't even, but I like even edges. Okay, and then what do you think? Which would be the third one? Hugs and kisses or happy day? Isn't that well, hugs and kisses. Kisses, that would be nice. Okay. More trimming, trimming, trimming. Here we go. And we have this nice uh, scrapperist paper, which is, this was 12 by 12, but not anymore as I used it. This is Holiday Romance Collection. Uh, from Scrapperies and I'm going to <coughs> sorry uh, make one slice here and then to get these little tiny stickers to be my title and a small piece of paper around it I'm going to add these sti stickers first and then cut here we go I should cut this more I want only the text to be shown Create the world around you. That's so nice. Okay. I did something stupid. I cut it and now I can't get it open. Too short nails. Okay, there it is. And the last one. Feel free. Well, I do. We should get some um, music playing behind when I'm not talking. Would be nicer for you to watch. And I'm not going to sing, although that might be <coughs> fun. Okay, just 
cutting. And then I'm going to use my scissors, which is very a really rare thing. Just making these to look more tighter, not stickers to when I'm using this paper behind them. Hey, we have Rika online. What a great day. Welcome Rika. I missed you so much. And we have Camilla over there also. So, now Rika mixed up my mind and I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh my god. No, just kidding. She always blows my mind. Okay, so I'm using this slice I cut before and making it a little smaller, ready to be added with layers. And then as I wrote the material list, you can use some vellum or some transparency. Uh, this is really old one, but I found it from uh, what it my mind's eye or something. I don't know, but you get the point. Anything goes. Just to add one layer more and and even more details. I'm making a just. A little slice. I don't use any measures here. I don't like to do that. Uh, then we had the small circle behind the star. So we are doing some circles. This is also Scrapper's paper. This is Holiday Romans collection. And this is quite nice. I love it. Love it a lot. So, if we have three cards, I assume we need three circles. That's how I, how much I know about math. Great way to use scraps. That's true. That's what I love about uh, these ATC cards. You can actually use any leftovers. Leftover paints, leftover embellishments, leftover anything. So now we have some some squares here. We have some circles here. And we have my husband over there who took my paper trimmer. He's so nice. Okay. Starting to build these layers. bigger and then the smaller. I'm starting with the bigger one and going with the smaller ones. And because I want to uh, bring some 3D look dimension, I'm adding only a few layers uh, first and then using 3D foams to add this title and this little square just that it pops up. See if it's too big, this vellum thing, transparent, whatever the right word is, was not small enough. This is quite fun as I have done so many uh, 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook layouts. Then switching <laughs> my mind to this tiny little card. Oh, it, it took so much time. We have Marta over here. So nice to meet you. Okay, not not reading the chat. So I'm using the stuffer again. Not again. I haven't used it with this show. Okay, the other one. Just a piece of paper, tinted plastic sheet, whatever it is and small 
picture off and there we go. Where's the third one? There you are. You can of course add more layers but I thought I want to keep that uh, background visible because it's so nice with blue and green it's so beautiful okay uh, you can use glue or you can use double-sided tape but as I'm going to add this sewing thread between these layers I'm going to use glue also gel medium would be perfect because you can uh, move things around before it's dry Did you ask? Yes, Riikka, that's a marvelous idea for next show. Use alcohol inks. It's so much fun. Okay, this is first one. Adding some. Some. It's like working in factory or something when you're doing three in a row. Not my thing, but I can do just one because they must have. You can do one because it's too small, but if you do two, it's this. Uh, it's not for me. I need to do three or five or seven. Okay, then I'm adding some glue, putting it there. Adding some glue. You probably get the point without making this same thing three times, but I want to make three cards for three special lady around the world. Stuck on your mailman. Okay. And then I'm using 3D foams. This is actually nice, nice thing to have this same sized. These are from Swedish shop called Beetle Them Up. These are quite thin, just one, one or one and a half millimeters thick. Which makes them perfect for my creations, as I'm using a lot of them to make a lot of layers. So, let's see. You can cut them, which is nice. Hugs and kisses. Create the world around you. I will. I will create my world around Rika. Ha ha! That was a joke. Okay. Then we had these nice stars from Freckled Fawn. How do you say that? Fawn, fawn, fawn. Anyway, I took the blue ones, of course. Uh, could have used those silver ones or the gold ones, but I'm doing these these blue ones. So uh, next I'm adding these are stickers, which is nice. Adding the star right there, then the square next to it, actually underneath it a little. This was a big star, just like Rika is. World known star. Okay, back to business. I haven't slept enough, that's why I'm a bit weird today. Am I always? Yes, you are. Okay, it's two months before our uh, mixed media party in Pol Poland. I'm 
I'm kidding my what's matkakuume in English. Travel fever already on so so let's see if I even live up the next month. Let's see. Jekteri phone. Yeah, I said it right. Woohoo. So I'm adding the titles. This is one sticker hell, <laughs> to be honest. But I don't mind. That's not going to be there. This is right here and it's good there. Everyone in their own style. Oh, nice to hear that Ansku is having travel fever also. I'm not surprised. Okay. This uh, adding stickers and and things isn't the best part of this, I think. The best part is the painting and the best uh, another best thing is splashing things in a moment. Uh, I'm going to use these Scrapperies Colorful Dreams. Um, what are, these are not uh, diamonds but some embellishments. Yeah. And I'm going to pick, what do you think? Maybe some purple to make it pop out. No, we are going to use this turquoise. Just one there and one, one here. Again, I'm using the rule of three to keep things simple, adding, okay, I'm going with this purple, this would be nice, there, great, and small one there, okay, another small one there, and third one there, I haven't checked the clock if I have used too much time with this, but you never know. And as we are going with embellishment thing, I'm going to use these tiny little pearls. These are from 13 Art Store. I don't remember these right name, but these are so cute as these are so tiny. Gives the right bling, but not too much. No. One and two and three. That's all I can count. One and two and three. So as said, Rika is here next week. She is doing some fabulous, fabulous thing with colors. And the week after that, guess who's here? I don't tell you. That's a secret. Okay, so the last thing is I'm doing is I'm using this splash ink also again from 13 Arts. It's nice as it's so multi usable. You can use it very different ways. There is this uh, little like a straw. You can use that to add it but it would make too large uh, splashes if I use it now so I'm Taking, you can use your uh, brush, the brush head, this or the other head. Just get some and then flicking. If it doesn't work well, you can use mists. 
but this is a more intensive color and that's why I prefer this instead of ink. Uh, I mean mist. Enough. Maybe some more. Okay, that's enough. So, are you thinking this is ready? Haha, <laughs> you're wrong. It's not over yet until the Batman sings. No. Okay, back to the paper trimmer. Uh, these are now in the right ATC card size, but as said, I need to get some air around them. That's why I added some 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 uh, white uh, pearly cardstock behind them, just a small larger than the uh, actual card is. So if you are receiving one of my ATCs and want to put them to any any um, these plastic boxes you are collecting them just cut them off I don't mind okay now I need to see what's going on with the chat because my husband is laughing right next to me okay Rika did you got your laptop working on the tram that must have been quite fun. I'm cutting just one. I don't want you to be here all night. Did you, Rika, have the voices on on the tram? My voice in Helsinki trams. That's that's nice. No. Just kidding. Uh, cutting this uh, wall just few millimeters uh, larger than the card is. And then again you can choose if you prefer glue or double sided tape. And I'm preferring a double-sided tape just because it um, uh, it, it, it gets these uh, cards more straightened. Uh, as you can see, the ink is still uh, all wet, so I can't do it like I always do, that I add this tape behind this and add it there, but now I'm doing, doing it the other way. Adding the tape here. That's nice to hear, Rika. You had your headphones on. Headphones. Just like pääpuhelin in Finland. Okay. No more Finnish English translations tonight before I'm going to tell you what uh, this rooster is saying in Finnish. You are not going to like it. Okay, don't stuck. Oof. Almost an odd accident. Okay, I'm putting them here and here and here. But there is another layer going to be before I'm letting you all go to work or sleep or anything because as you see it's now like a too clean that white thing so I want to add just few clicks of something to make some splashes to this white place white area white something so I'm taking this tool card. It's nice to <coughs> see Rika is laughing for me there with that Pääpuhelin thing. Well, she knows me. I'm weirdo. Okay, some flicks to my table or for the cards. And then we are completed over here yes 
I hope you enjoyed the ride and I promise to be more uh, what's the word uh, asiallinen uh, professional <laughs> next time okay I'm turning to camera you probably hear my husband steps when he ran away okay so thank you all for coming are you seeing me hmm? yes thank you all for coming today and next week we are having recover and thank you Rika and Karen for having me guesting here and if this was my last time I'm thanking you so much but I hope it wasn't so have a nice evening or have a great day or have a good night or have something nice in your life and I'm going to send these ABC cards to someone special people around the world thank you for coming in and I'm now pressing the stop recording button